let's just start recording this. So uh, this webinar, I wanted to, you know, uh, get more familiar with you guys, uh, see uh, where you are as far as the trading. Uh, are you uh, brand new to trading? Is it your first ever webinar as far as the education? Uh, have you had any education related to Forex? Uh, if you did, uh, what it is, uh, what specifically you would like me to cover to help you with. And uh, we can just go take it from there because there's a bunch of things I can talk on my own. But if I know specifically what you need help with, uh, then uh, we can we can just focus on that uh, to help you, you know, accelerate your journey uh, with the Forex investments. So. Uh, if you are muted, you can uh, be free to unmute yourself or type in the chat. What would you like, you know, uh, to be covered so we can, you know, uh, get started with that. Any questions? Uh, Eduardo is on here. How's it going, my friend? Holden is here. Anthony is here. Dave is here. Do you guys have any questions, or would you, would you rather me, you know, start going over the peers, analyzing, you know? their movement, where they were, uh, you know, where, where it's headed, uh, so we can, you know, look for some setups. And then along the way, if you have any questions, obviously you can, you know, uh, just start asking them. Does that work better? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, so let's do that. Do you guys have any uh, pair that you prefer to start with or? I've been at work all day, so I don't. I haven't even been looking at the charts. Whatever you decide, man. Okay. No, we can we can look uh, at pretty much all of them. So uh, let's start. We have here gold. So gold uh, has definitely broke above, you know, uh, into the new level. Uh, it's been spiking up and down to this daily uh, support now. Uh, why we consider this daily support because it's been able to hold it for you know a few days now uh, Not a, week, a little bit actually over a week for Actually for two weeks now So uh, this gives us confidence that we should be you know able to see this uh, Structure take us all the way up here eventually, right? Uh, we did have we did have this week left over here uh, it reached out, I believe, to 1.453. Let's use horizontal line. Yeah, 1.45278. So um, I definitely see this in uh, some near future being tested again, uh, at least, you know, to cover this uh, week. Uh, so uh, one thing that the market does and uh, it may have not been done like uh, immediately the same week or the following week, but eventually, you know, these weeks, uh, they leave imprint and uh, they will at some point get covered with the full candlestick body. So what do I mean with that? You know, body relates to the full closed, you know, portion of the whole candle, right? Like we have this big green, you know, bullish candle, right? So the body is the full green line here, right? So what we see here is we see this long wick left, right? So that was a big spike and, you know, the price uh, failed to maintain, you know, uh, that, you know, current level at that time and it came right back down. So it came right back down and, the, uh, you know, uh, got stopped at the daily support, you know, which, which gives us good indication that, you know, this is now the zone that we trade within, you know. It's been consolidating a lot, going up and down. You know, we were able to, you know, scalp it, get some moves anywhere from, you know, 40 to 70, 80 pips. Uh, but we have not had this major move that we expect, you know, towards, you know, first of all, this level. And then, you know, the weekly level that I have here at 1.47747. So with that being said, uh, when I mentioned, you know, that this week eventually uh, what we are looking for to be 
cover with the full body is you know one of these following next days or you know some of the next coming weeks you know we expect you know uh, another green candle like this it may have not been you know the same size depending on the momentum to you know to cover and come to this you know resistance so i am you know uh, my bias is definitely bullish on gold um uh, next week we also have a you know a big uh, usd news uh let's check that to be specific what day it was um let's see right here can you guys see forex factory or is it still stuck on uh, trading view i have no, noticed that the song is uh, not uh, displaying forex factory it's not okay let's change that here we go can you see it now yeah we can see it all right so let's filter this up i'm gonna get rid of this and we're gonna look for the high impact news all right so here we go uh in, in exactly one week from now uh wednesday july 31st we have you know big usd meeting as far as the fomc and also adp non-farm employment change you know this, this is very high impact news for you know usd economy and uh, you know dollar in the market uh and especially you know fomc meeting uh here uh, i have done a lot of research uh, also, one of my mentors also is very confident that they will finally, you know, uh, come up with this uh, rate cut, which will, you know, definitely, uh, you know, weaken dollar further. And it will directly relate to gold going up, right? So uh, the, the, previous, the previous rate decision was 2.5%. Uh, uh, now they expect, you know, for Hello. five. Hello. Uh, can we say that if uh, US US uh, decrease their bank interest, then US uh, currency became uh, slowly, slowly weak? Yeah, yeah, that is exactly what what I'm uh, trying to say now. If this if this rate, even if they what 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 is forecasted, you know, forecast is you know other way prediction, you know, by the economists that it will be cut. Uh, but they only predicted cut by you know uh, 0.25%, which is quarter of one percent. I personally yes. think that this will be you know higher cut than what they predicted, right? You know, obviously we won't know until you know the you know head of FOMC you know comes up in the media and and announces this you know what actual will be. You know, this is all you know now uh, just speculation, right? But I, I'm also, you know, uh, pretty, pretty uh, you know, convinced that there will be, you know, rate cut because it will ha help balance economy a little bit. And the big dollar will lead us to, you know, uh, rise in gold, right? So when there's, you know, weak dollar, all USD, uh, you know, USD XXX, for example, USD CHF, USD JPY, USD um, uh, CAD. I mean, yeah, they were all, you know, they all should come down, you know, they they should all, uh, you know, uh, start being pretty bearish, right? And all right. like uh, XXX USD pairs, like, you know, XAU USD gold, uh, Euro USD, GBP USD, NZD USD, they should all, you know, start rising and turning, you know, bullish. Because uh, uh, this, this, uh, this uh, fundamental impact of the news will definitely, you know, weaken uh, dollar and will lead to that. Because, uh, you know, that's that's when investors will try to, you know, take advantage of that and uh, us as well. We do have, you know, some, uh, you know, pretty heavy JPY news. Also, the monetary policy statement, uh, Bank of Japan outlook report. It's a pretty, pretty uh, you know, important news. Uh, then we have uh, AUD on Tuesday. CPI, you know, consumer price index, you know, one of the, you know, top economic reports that does affect, you know, that nation's currency. Uh, next Thursday, August 1st, we have GBP, very, very, you know, uh, high impact news, you know, this will definitely move market and, and so on, you know. So, you know, every, every time, you know, you're preparing yourself for the week upcoming uh, and in the current week, you should, you know, 
uh, keep your eye on you know the red and or as well orange folders because you know they, they can definitely you know put that liquidity in the market because you know some reports if if they are you know if they have a big variance from forecasted and especially from the previous uh, numbers you know it, you know they, they will cause that currency to fluctuate you know uh, pretty heavy so with that being said uh gold right now uh let's switch this to k2 uh as of right now the last signal was was for sell and it indeed it did fall uh let's see from here it did fall about 30 pips um so for right now i, I would just leave it until you know we see whether this comes back above the cloud or closes underneath so we can look for some opportunities you know uh to trade this uh but the long long-term prediction i see this you know rising you know pretty pretty heavy rise uh even here we have this uh, newly formed uh you know trend line that you know it, it and i don't think it's going to be tested anytime I, I can actually be confident you know putting this right here so just just pretty much riding this trend line it could come back down here but you know we might see some uh bounce from right there um so that's as far as you know uh gold uh let's go to gbp usd so here on gbp usd uh, this pair uh broke through the weekly support but it now came right back up into this supply zone so you know supply zone is the zone that attracts buyers right usually is the zone uh um at the weekly supports where it's you know strong strong uh, structure and you know uh kind of like the the pr price barricade where it's really hard for that you know price to break that as well as you know weekly resistances except you know when, when the price goes to the resistance that's called demand zone you know so suppliers you know will usually buy from here and you know uh ride it all the way up to the demand zone so as far as gu what i see on this at the moment it looks like it is going to turn back bullish you know uh we have closure here right above the weekly support so depending on this four hour candle maybe following one uh we want to see some momentum that this price is you know getting carried uh to the upside so that we can be a little bit more safe of buying this also uh the the tool that i use you know guys who are familiar with my trading uh, i definitely use fibonacci so if we if we measure this whole move uh we are approaching about the 50 percent retrace and you know uh, i expect this fib level to hold and you know take this uh to the upside even from here yeah 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 definitely 50 um either way so i would expect you know some reaction from this zone right here um i am favoring this right now to the upside so we just have to monitor you know this area right here see what we get if we get some you know uh, bullish momentum uh and so we can trade this uh, i know i will definitely keep an eye on it because you know i i mainly trade gbp pairs uh because uh i i got hold of them and also i i love the you know liquidity uh that they have uh, i don't like being stuck in a trade for one week until it you know reaches 50 60 pips where you can get that in like you know two three hours on you know gbp pairs but that's just me you know uh you you know on your journey you will discover uh what pairs you know you feel comfortable with uh which ones you have more success with and definitely you know uh journaling that uh will, will you know will help you keep the track of that 
uh, Devane said, why does the uh, rate cut make the dollar weaker? Uh, because uh, right now the U.S. economy is uh, in the state of inflation, right? You know, uh, ev everything is doing so well, uh, and uh, the the decrease in the interest rate, you know, will will uh, help balance the economy, and uh, that is also very important to do occasionally. Because uh, you know you don't want to uh, lead the economy to hyperinflation, and hi hyperinflation you know happens uh, with the continuous you know uh, increase in the you know uh, interest rate. So uh, and also there there's been you know some experts and uh, even the uh, Powell who who works for you know Fed uh, has uh, gave some hints towards the rate cuts, even though you know the president is against that. So I don't know if uh, that helps you understand a little bit better. And, you know, that will also lead to, you know, a rise in GU because uh, dollar will become weaker against British pound, uh, which will lead to, you know, a rise here. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, definitely ask any questions you have, don't hesitate, you know. Uh, if I don't know the answer, we will find it together. Um, so I would, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys want me to take a screenshot of this so you can uh, follow it. I'll drop it here in the chat so you can save it. Okay, there we go. That's GU. Uh, let me go back to gold so I can give you guys that too. This one daily. Okay, I think this just saved after. Yes. So actually, I liked it. This this was actually uh, what I did on my phone, and it just saved it now in the meantime. So uh, I'll put this for you guys, so you can also refer to this. It might do something like this, and then come up, and then if we see you know break, you know wait for the retrace and continue to hold you know hold this buy, but not unless you see you know break and and the re uh, retest. You know, sometimes it can break above and break right below, you know. So that, that's something you, you know, you have to watch for. Okay. So let me just save this so you guys can have it. Oh yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so GJ, let's see, GJ, uh, last night it didn't work out. I was trying to trade this, it, it, it got manipulated, it, you know, it triggered the sell stop and it went back up. Um, so, Channel a little bit prettier, so let's get rid of that. So here we have uh, GJ. Obviously, you know, if you go on a weekly, you can see that it, you know it's still you know heavily bearish market. Uh, what we could possibly see here, you know, is test of this level right here. You know, that's you know could be where this is headed. But for right now, that's you know a little bit far away. 
So what I'm focused on here is, you know, we have this, uh, so this is called ascending channel, ascending, you know, because it's, it's, it's rising, you know, it's climbing, obviously. And uh, I, at this point, would like to see this come up to like right here. So we can test this intraday support, uh, actually resistance now. We can, you know, get some tests here and look for sell from that zone, right? Look the break. Look for the break and actually, you know, take this further down, right? You know, UK uh, does have announcement, you know, that, you know, uh, Boris is their new prime minister, but I don't think, you know, that in itself necessarily, you know, will, you know, immediately bring some, you know, investors into GBP uh, or, you know, stimulate the strength in this pair. So uh, I would like to see more rise here before, you know, we get a, you know, a clean breakout and without fake outs, like we had here, you know, this broke and, you know, kind of consolidated and instead of falling further down, it came right back up. But this was due to the news, you know, the other day when they announced. Was that you, mommy? Was that you? Yesterday or before. So, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Um, so, uh, well, this is what I would look for. Uh, it could... You know, this four hour candle, it is on the edge. It could be breakout. You know, if this happens, I'll, I will, you know, at least look for some kind of retest. You know, that will also create uh, what's called as a double top. If you look at the line chart, you know, come down here, come retest, make that M or double top. You know, some people call it double top, some people call it M formation. You know, it's, it's one of the indication of, you know, uh, bearish uh, bearish uh, initial in the market uh, but just double top in itself doesn't mean you know that hey you know this is ready for sell no those, those double tops double bottoms and you know those formations they they are very important when they happen around the you know certain areas like for example if we get this market up to here and then creates double top and then it starts dropping that that is more of a confluence you know for this sell you know that that should give more indication that oh, okay this is actually double top into the resistance right so you already have two confirmations that you know this price is not ready you know to to pierce through this and go higher also here if if this happens you know second scenario that we are you know uh trying to see as a possibility is you know this can break uh, out of the channel again come back to it, retest, create that M completion, and then start dropping, you know. In that case, we have breakout of the channel, we have retest, and we have double top or M, and, you know, the, uh, you know that, that's that's pretty good indication, you know, for, you know, to sell this pair. But right now, I, there is nothing to do with it, you know. Right now, this candle, yeah, it is bearish, and it is kind of breaking through, the, you know, the channel, but, it's not convincing, you know, it's, it's, it's nowhere. Like if this was, you know, much stronger, then you will see you know, some heavy bearish momentum, you know, that is, you know, being pushed down. But for right now, there, there's no confirmation to trade this. You know, some people will argue, well, it's retesting the channel, right? So why don't we just buy it? Well, because we don't know if it's retesting the channel, right? It can break out. So, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to trade what you think will happen, you know, you want to trade what you see, you know, when, when you get some, uh, you know, confirmations on the trade, you know, uh, watch these candles, you know, because they do tell you the story, you know, and, and when you learn all these patterns and formations, you know, you, you find the confluence with it and, you know, gives you more confidence into your trading. USDCHF, no problem, we'll go to that second. So let me just save this and give you guys a chat so you can, you know, keep eye on it. Um, what uh, uh, what they, confirmations do you specifically look for before you take a trade? Uh, I think that was David, right? Yeah. 
Hey, uh, that's a great question. So me specifically, for me, it's enough to see the structure and see rejection off of Fibonacci level. But that's also because, you know, I trade for two years and the pairs that I trade, uh, I know when is that enough for me, you know, because I will see, you know, candle close into, you know, uh, 50 or 61 8 Fibonacci and the next one is already opening with the you know heavy momentum you know turnaround gotcha. yeah and I already know okay so this this you know move has completed its retrace and now it's ready to to make its continuation does that make sense yeah definitely yeah but that's also a great question in the way that you guys always want to look for as many confirmation as possible right because th there is no 100% trade in the Forex, right? We trade high probability trades, right? Well, we hope to do that because that is what will, you know, make us profitable, you know? We don't want to trade like, like for example, what I mentioned here, okay, somebody will say, oh, this is just retest, so let me just buy this. No, that, that's, that's, that's ridiculous, you know? Because you don't know, you are assuming this is, you know, that this is just the retest of this ascending channel. And you, just just going into trade off of that that's that's not confirmation you know that is that is pretty much gambling you know but if if this was like you know falling down let's say uh this move i'm gonna measure it from here up to here okay so see this is this is now something right so we measure so the way you use Fibonacci, I believe I mentioned in the last week, but obviously we're going to keep, you know, mentioning this over and over because, you know, repetition is the best way to learn and memorize. So we measured the whole move, right? This, this, this bearish, you know, movement started from right here, right? Carried all over and it stopped right here. So that is one full move, right? One full market impulse. So now when we start seeing this retrace, you know, coming back up, then we, we gonna measure it from here to here right and what do we see here we see 61 8 rejection right so now this tells me you know okay so this is coming down now to 50 is it going to break and give us this retest so this is now gonna complete double top right into the 61 8 break out of the ascending channel and retest so you have hell of a confirmations there to sell this right so this was a great question by you know our friend David you know to bring it up so we can you know find the real example you know before it even happens so if you see something like that when I you know give you this screenshot and you follow it through you know this breakout come back here again rejects you know or wicks out of 618 and it starts dropping then you should be pretty good selling this you know because I know I will you know I'll sell this in a heartbeat if that happens right but that is, you know, having some confirmation and confidence into the trade. No, not assuming, you know, it's it's market tells you what it wants to do, you know. Uh, I hope that makes some sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. So that, that is, you know, what, what we, you know, want. We want to find as many, you know, uh, indications that this is going a certain way so we can be on the right side of the market, right? So let's put this into the chat as well so this is you know just at the current market situation you see this is you know continuing to pushing down so we, we might be able to trade this you know tonight or you know over over the night throughout the london so we'll see what it does uh we can switch real fast to k2 on uh, 30 see now it's it's giving the sell signal you know uh and, and it's losing it because you know it's kind of ranging up and down so uh it, it might might be you know coming up sell uh for the london session so something we will you know keep eye on it right so let's go back to this and i saved and gave you that guys and i believe he said usdchf yeah well, let's find that right here. All right, let's clear this up a little bit. Let's see what we have here. All right, okay, okay. So we do have beautiful breakout on the weekly, right? 
this was you know bullish market bullish market uh, broke through the you know weekly uptrend retested it and that was a beautiful drop and I definitely missed that one Wow that was 228 pips anyway it's not the pair that I trade a lot but you know you you really like to see when when you know when what you do to you know take your trades is actually there you know like we had break retest and after this bullish retest candle it was a drop of 228 pips you know and and that is you know very simple you know uh, but it's very important to know how to draw your trend lines and you know to look for this break retest and continuations you know it, it really is simple you know and i always try to teach people that because you, you don't want to complicate trading right but anyway so we had this drop and now look what it did it came back up to retest this weekly resistance right and it re rejected off of it so this this should continue to fall to at least this level which is uh, 97 500 to round it up uh, but we can go on a four hour see if we can find something uh, more prominent let's see okay i like what i see here actually uh, so we had this and it broke it broke out right so we had another ascending channel right breakout look at that perfect retest right here if you extend this channel look at that wick that wick perfectly retested this what we were just trying to cover on uh, gbp jpy and there's your confirmation look at it now and it is this i have no doubt this will continue to fall to this level so it's it's about 100 pips trade right we have another question yeah yeah you see how it's simple like it really is simple like i mean i'm not making this up i can find you so many examples here's another one look it was an ascending channel right here broke look at this isn't isn't this beautiful look at that god damn that was 200 260 pips just off of simple breakout like you know because these, these patterns they repeat themselves you know it's just you have to train your eyes to see and, and look look what market does this is those are the uh what do you call them those are the 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 market uh, moves right you have impulse then you have either consolidation which will go sideways 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 and then you see whether it break break back up or it break below to continue down or you have this ascending channels uh which which kind of i like this you know as a bearish flag rather right i like this this hole from here to here this is bearish flag right but this specific portion it's ascending channel so look we had this drop and look now you know what what dave was asking earlier and what i was trying to tell him you know fibonacci look at here so we're gonna measure this move right there and we're gonna extend it right here right because and look what it rejected 61.8 so you, you think this is coincidence now you know it, it's completely different pair it's not even gbp it's usd chf completely two different currencies but look we'll look power of fibonacci if you only know if you only know where to measure you know, the the double top too right in between there or it seems well, like it um yeah yeah and it well it kind of has triple top right triple top is you know uh, uh same valid you know uh, bearish you know formation you know double top triple top it's it's same thing right so a lot of times is it always off the the 50 level well 61 8 you know 61 8 is uh well between 50 and 61 8 sometimes yeah. it can be up to 70.5 or people run it up to 71 uh if there's some fundamental that gives that high retrace you know to scare sellers right but that i only had 70 uh, 71 when, when i see this going a little bit higher but look at this this was almost perfectly 61 day right right here so after so me personally right 
even without waiting for this breakout, right? Which we had here, right? We know this is 61.8. You see how this, this came through bullish and the next one made made a, a sort of a hammer dodgy, right? Bearish dodgy. And look at this. So this, let's, let's focus on this. This is very important, guys. This is right here. Make sure you pay attention. So look this. This is bearish engulfing candle, right? And it's not even bro broken, uh, uh, you know, off of this, you know, uh, bearish flag or ascending channel. So after this candle, if you have not sold here, right, after this bearish, after this big engulfing bearish candle, uh, I'm selling this like, like uh, I'm putting bank on this, you know. I'm, 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 I'm not trying to be funny, just to emphasize how, how great of confirmation this is. Like you have engulfing candle right after rejected 61. And, and, and it's a huge bearish engulfing candle. And look at it, what it does, it just continues to fall. So even if you entered right here, uh, where it is, even if you enter, let's say right here, even if you didn't enter on that candle, the until on the next one, look at this move. This is more than 280 actually. Damn that, how did I miss that? Look at it, 290 pips to measure it down to the pip for holding it two days. Beautiful. And it's not, not coincidence, you know, we just had example of 61A, right? So here's another example, like this was the impulse move and it stopped right here. So we're gonna measure it from right here. So this was a pretty high retrace, right? This is 78.6, right? So on a bearish market, right? The last, the last level of fib resistance, right? Is 78.6, which we see right here. Let's remove this one so this can be more clear. Look at this, 78.6 right there rejected. So this is example of, of a little bit of larger retrace, right? After the impulse move, like we, we had move and it rejected here. And what it did, it made double top at the 78.6, fell down. Broke below weekly support, retested it. Look at this retest. This is not coincidence. I didn't just open the chart and felt like putting my, you know, resistance here. You know, it, 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 it's, it's the key level, you know, just knowing where it is. See how it, it rejected right here and it, boom, come back down. If you have some question. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science, you know. And that's why, you know, when, when I try to share this, I try to make it as simple as possible, you know. And if you if you are uh, let's say if you are also a K2 subscriber, you know you could have probably gotten a bunch of signals here for sell. Let's find this. Uh, where was it? I gotta zoom because it's 30 minutes. Yeah, there we go. Right at the at that level. See. It, it gave signal a little bit before and consolidated and it, it, it dropped down, you know. So if, if you are subscriber to, you know, K2 signals, you, you can get even further confirmation. If you are still unsure, you know, you can just wait for the signal because you, you see on the larger scale that this rejected that FIB level. You see that it broke and closed below the, you know, weekly uh, support, uh, you know, uh, validating it as a new resistance. And you know it, it's gonna continue down. So as far as this move, because I think our friend uh, Holden is probably in this trade or it's looking to take it, you would measure this move from here to right here. Let's zoom in. Just to make it a little bit. Oh no, that's a 30. Let's do this in four hours. So it's more seen. All right. So this top of the week. And this right here. Okay. So see this another 61 8 rejection. Look at it. And this is just the current one. See, it's, it's, it's not coincidence. I'm not making this up. This is live market. You guys watching it with me. Like I have not even traded it. I'm just going through it because 
we had a question about it. See another 61A rejection and you know it starts to drop. So now it might create double top here, you know, get some pullback more. But you know, I, I have no doubt that honestly this will continue down. So you know, let's save this so you guys can have you know a larger view on this uh, for better study guide and also so you can refer to it. Put this in the chat. Let me see. Is this? Yeah, here's DC chat. There we go. All right. So, uh, do you have a next pair you want me to go over, or I should go back where where I started, or and just continue from there? Do you, um, do you see CAD JPY rate rising or continuing downward? Hey, Sean, what's up, what's up? Uh, the question was about CAD JPY, correct? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, I'm glad you said something. I can see some potential here. Uh, let's clear this uh uh, are you in a buy already? Yeah, I've been in a buy for a while. It, it kind of dropped right after I, I got into a buy, but um, I've just been holding it. Yeah, I don't like it for a buy, to be honest, without even, you know, detailed analysis. Because look here, let's extend this. Well, actually, actually, it's holding. Uh, I might take that back. Let's take a look here. I might take that back. Let's put this to mine. Yeah, actually, it's still, still, there is a chance, but the only thing is it broke under the, you know, key level, right? See mm -hmm. this uh, demand zone, it got broken and it's holding underneath it, right? So if you see breakout out of this channel, I might consider, you know, uh, either cutting the losses or taking current profit depending on your entry what was your entry if you don't mind uh let me see hold on 109.818 wait that's oh, sorry no 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 that's that's chef jpy uh eight, oh. 82.706 oh so you are like 38 pips in drawdown right exactly don't tell me you went, you went in with the Maserati. Uh, no. <laughs> As, uh, so, so it was a smaller lot. Uh, let's see. I think you I said saw that I was near the uh, the support. I'm sorry, resistance. No, it was uh, around support level. You are right. You said eighty two seven what? Eighty two seven oh six. Seven oh six. Let's put an exact one right here. Oh wow, yeah. That was I'm <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna make a quick joke out of you know ladder just to make fun, but that was perfect entry for sell. Yeah, exactly. But that there is nothing in the world that would have told you, hey, you need to sell here, because this was this came right back in uh through the support and it closed above. So um the only clue that this would have been for the sell is this intraday uh resistance now right mm, okay. you see how how those sharp moves you know rejected when it broke came retested 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 and then it broke and then you know and this is what i covered in the last week's you know webinar uh every time you see retests you know first three right first three retests which we see here they 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 hold for 90 percent of the time every other you know retest after three it can cause in a breakout right so we get fourth and on the fifth it didn't this level didn't hold and it broke uh below and wow yeah i mean uh me personally so w when you asked earlier about the confirmations to me this wouldn't be confirmation to sell at all like this is in, you we are talking about here intraday resistance right 
but but this is you know weekly support that it just break back above right and you probably saw uh these bullish formations right this bullish candlestick formation that's why you were trying to catch this move you know yep that's um, exactly what happened yeah shit happens to me all the time man uh that's okay uh you know we if we were able to you know find perfect entries we, we would be you know uh killing it so we gonna see what's the one uh no I, I i would put this i would actually watch this i mean you are kind of over, overnight uh, this this mainly move i believe between you know uh london and new york mm -hmm. but it could move uh overnight as well because it's jpy pair but what I see now, you see, this is this rejected 50, right? It came back down and now it's rejecting 38.2. Um, so it, it, it's it's hard for me to, to give you confidence that this will rise again, you know. Right. Uh, but I, I would, I mean, depending, you know, if you can hold it, your margin, and if, if you are willing, you know, to be more patient, see if this will hold and come back up uh, and if not if it breaks this this channel then i, I would consider cutting my losses because if this breaks here it's headed at least down here that is 200 uh, not 200 sorry 150 fifths oh yeah yeah and definitely I, I have i have my um stop loss at near where that that channel is so yeah. if it if it breaks that you know it's that it's not the end of the world yeah and this is also a great example i'm actually very happy you brought this pair up and and, and your current situation in this trade why because this is how we learn when to cut our losses right this is how we learn that we don't just you know go with the motion oh it's gonna come back up you know if whatever comes down comes back up no it doesn't sir i'm sorry that's not how this works you think they care in Canada or, or Japan whether whether you, you think it's gonna come back up or down? No, they don't. Uh, neither the banks or institutions. They they really they, they, that's why you have to have really you know strong emotional you know approach and psychology to this. You know, it's it's just another trade. You know, we we, we there is nobody who wins hundred percent of the trades. There really isn't. You know, uh, so. This is, you know, where, where we learn if, you know, if we need to stay or if this breaks out when we cut our losses, right? To, to prevent, you know, that account, you know, from, from, from getting shrunk and, you know, because we want to we wanna continue growing it. And the way we do that is obviously besides winning the trades, also knowing when to, you know, prevent our uh, big losses, right? Losses will happen. That's just inevitable, you know. It, it, it's just what it is because, you know, we, we go against, you know, uh, large hedge funds and banks. So it, it, it's impossible to win every trade. But, you know, knowing when to, you know, prevent huge losses is, 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 if, is as beneficial as, as winning trades, if not more, right? Uh, so... So yeah, this uh, I can screenshot this for you, so uh, you can uh, use it as a reference. See uh, what it does. Okay, next pair. AUD CAD. Okay, do AUD CAD. I believe I have that somewhere here. Wait, I don't have. Okay, well, I'm gonna add it now. All right, AD can and AD JPY. Okay, let's do AD CAD and we're gonna go to AD JPY. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I have to look at it first on a higher time frame because I have not looked at this in a minute. Okay, okay. This is very interesting. 
Okay, looks like we had two false breakouts. And honestly, don't know where would this go if it breaks. So, uh, uh, I mean, nothing really surprising with AUD at the moment because they've been really weak. But anyway, let's clear this up. So here we have a major weekly support, right? Let's label it just for better vision. Uh, text, we're gonna make that. Okay, so here we have weekly support, right? It, it has been broken twice. Both times it was false breakout, right? Why? Because it came right back into the zone, right? Right back into the zone. Now this weekly so far uh, looks like a, a bearish hammer, right? So this candle is called hammer, right? Because we have this week that we refer to as a handle and we have this top that kind of you know looks like a, a creation of the hammer right so that's why uh, this is called a uh, hammer so this is bearish inverted hammer right inverted because it's upside down right um so th this is this is a bearish sign one of one one type of a candle that you know it's example of a bearish candle you know bearish sign but let's see okay Okay, so we did had, you know, this bearish movement, but see, it held again at the weekly support, right? Uh, let's see if we can. I don't know if this can be considered. Let's see. Nah, this is not beautiful head and shoulder. Nah. so that's not valid let's change to the line okay so we have one two we have double bottom and here is creating looks like another double bottom but but onto the weekly support right so this this could be sign of uh you know some of uh bullish movement for this pair you know, and obviously next zone would be right here. Let's see what this downtrend tells us. Oh, actually, I like this. Okay. So here, why why did I just say I like this, right? Uh, not because I'm in love with this, you know, green and red candles, but because this was obviously, you know, heavy downtrend, right? And now it made double bottom. It broke back into the weekly, you know, support, right? Now it retested this trend line, right? We had the breakout and perfect retest, right? And now it looks like we are getting some bullish movement, right? We're getting a little bit of bullish momentum here. So this is this is you know pretty decent confirmation, right? For this, to, you know, for for it having potential to go long, right? Long or bullish. Because we had break off of the major downtrend, right? We have retest, perfect retest at the weekly support. Very important, very important. So now what I would do if I am in this trade already or I'm looking potentially to trade this, right? I will look for some of these candles on a smaller time frame, right? And let's see what this tells us, you know, when we zoom in, okay? So this is another thing that I like to see, right? We have some vectoring, right? Vectoring, vectoring. So vectoring, you know, when you see too many wicks to one side, it's, oh, wow, whoa. Is there any AUD news right now? Oh, that just started pushing like crazy. Okay. Oh, yeah, wow. There is. Something, there something is a happening. And right now. Damn. Look at that, because that's just yes. going crazy. Wow. Let's 
<laughs> actually 11.05. Because <laughs> I was like, what just happened? <laughs> I definitely didn't move the market. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. So, this is very high impact news. So, their governor, uh, governor. Is a, nice. What is it? My RGP is looking nice. He just shot down. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, yeah. Are you gonna sell? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sell. I was like, I was just watching it right now. I just shot down like 20 pips. Yeah, yeah, because definitely it's news. But look at this again, leaving weak into this trend, right? So, this may be just temporary impact, right? Because uh, this is another thing, guys, perfectly that we have this. Uh, you know, I try to, you know, every, every new small thing that is brought up or, you know, something new. Uh, uh, outside the topic that we already have covered that we can additionally you know build on and add on is this right here so when you see the red folder right and you see that you know important either governor or you know uh, fed executive speaks so this usually does not have immediate impact right which which was not case at this moment right we witnessed that this had immediate impact right so uh, he's live. I'm pretty sure he's still live because he just started talking two minutes ago. So depending how uh, you know he conclude, he or she. Yeah, I'm still here. Or who are you talking to? An honest. Huh? Uh, let's see. What is it? Oh, nothing. I thought you were talking to me. No, no, I'm talking to everybody. Oh, okay. I was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, I'm referring to, you know, this uh, red folder where we have a uh, speech, right? So yeah, I didn't realize uh, there is news right now. Oh, okay. Today, today is ECB meeting. Now, how does it affect? How does what, sorry? Uh, how does it will affect? How, it, how will it affect? Impact. So yeah, what I was trying to uh, cover, uh, this uh, speech usually does not have immediate impact, but we did we did notice, you know, this impact, and you know, it's it's still impacting uh, uh, bearish on AUD, right? Usually, the speech takes some time to have an impact, right? So it, it can be anywhere between fifteen and thirty minutes, right? <laughs> Somebody is drawing on the screen. Uh, uh, I'm glad you have fun. Anyway, um, so it usually takes about 15 to 30 minutes, sometimes up to an hour, you know. But depending how this person concludes their speech, you know, they will, they will give, you know, uh, either, you know, huge push down or push up. Or it will just, you know, uh, makes, make some, you know, move and then it will continue in its, you know, uh, or, original, you know, uh, Still drawing in its uh, original uh, direction, right? Uh, if you could stop drawing, I would really appreciate it. Um, so that is the thing. But what I what I'm still seeing here, I believe this will hold. This is just you know a fundamental impact from you know this this person you know talking at the moment, uh, unless uh, they announce something really bad for you know uh, Australian you know economy. And therefore, their you know currency uh, becomes uh, weaker because of it. That can happen as well. Uh, but uh, I know I would not trade this at the moment because uh, there is that uh, uh, conference uh, that is going on, and I, I don't follow Australian economy because I don't trade their pairs much. So I'm not sure uh, what that impact would be. If one of you is from Australia, you probably you know can you know watch this live on TV and you know get, get a better uh insight of uh, what it might do as far as the fundamental side uh, but uh you know if i don't know who was the person that asked uh, i think this was uh Dwayne. yeah uh i don't know if you are still here are you already in this trade or you were looking to trade it I was looking to trade it, and I actually had a sell bias on it, but I just um, wanted to want to say I wasn't sure. But I'm still in the early stages of learning. Okay, no, no, that's okay. I mean, I'm I'm glad you asked the question. So you said you had sell on this. I was looking at it as uh, for a sale. Okay, 
well, you you would have been right. You know, you definitely would have been right. Um, I wish I did it in my practice account. Went ahead and oh. did it. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me ask you this: uh, What what made you think about selling it? Is is it a K two signal that came out, or you saw something? No, just in looking at it, um, I was trying to look at the structure with the uh, where it had the, kind of like a double top right there, and was thinking it was kind of breaking um, what would, I would assume would be a trend line from that low. Oh, okay. Oh, from here. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely look at this from uh, the angle that you were looking at it, and that is this right here. And this, uh, let's use parallel channel because it will look uh, better as far as the visuals. So yeah, if we take a look at it like that, yeah. So yeah, it did. It did break. Uh, the reason I wouldn't have sold it here, even though I love I love those kind of patterns and I trade them a lot, uh, you know. And it, it and it's again another example that is showing valid. You know, once once it breaks, that it does keep falling down. But because it, it, it's very close to this weekly support, right? So I'm the person that I don't really aim for, what is this, for 25 pips, right? You know, I usually try to, you know, catch, catch the whole move, let's say. And uh, also uh, just, just this breakout uh, for me to sell coming into the weekly support, for me personally, that wouldn't be enough to sell it. But uh, it, it, it was a good observation of yours. Uh, definitely, you know, you, you, you have seen that. And it, it did even break the you know uh, ascending channel, and now it looks like it is uh, breaking again uh, below this weekly support. So uh, just looking at this uh, four-hour candle, it's gonna close in uh, one hour forty-seven minutes. It says right here. If you use trading view, it will always say uh, whatever time frame you are on. Uh, here below the current market price, it will be this timer. So if you are on two hour. It will say, okay, this this much time is left until this current candle closes, right? So uh, for me, I would wait for this four hour, see what it does. Uh, but um, I, I'm not yet confident about selling this. But if you would have sold here, you you would uh, you know catch you know some nice pips, right? So that will be 45 pips. You know that that that's a beautiful move if you can do that every day. You know you will soon become pretty, pretty good with finances, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, for me, I personally would not trade it, uh, but, uh, you know, you, you had a really good outlook on it, so uh, you can keep watching it. If you want, I can zoom in and, you know, uh, kind of take screenshots so you can uh, refer to it uh, if it helps you, of course. So, absolutely, thank you. No problem. So I'm just gonna put it in the chat. And we have uh, so Sean wants to go over AOD JPY. We'll do that just now. And we have question. Did you already talk about? No, we have not covered Euro AUD yet. So let's go to AUD JPY, and we will go uh, to analyze Euro AUD after that. Here. Okay, got a bunch of cleaning to do here. Let's see. Sean, you still here? Yep, I'm here, Ernest. Okay, so you you said you are selling this, right? Yeah, I'm in a sell right now. It's uh, it's getting close to the my target actually. Drop. Let me see how many pips. Uh, what was your entry? Uh, entry was uh, 75.442. It dropped about 20 pips, so I'm about, let's see how far am I. Is that 442 or 422? Yeah, uh, 442. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that news helped me a lot because I was getting a little worried as in close to the top. That news puts you in a profit. So you should call this person and thank them. So <laughs> the letter of appreciation. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. for Australia. Okay. 
Yeah, I actually got closed out because I was doing my exit strategy. So I got out pretty nice. Oh, so you are no longer in it? Yeah, no longer, unfortunately. <laughs> I was worried it was going to swing back up, so I just moved my stop. Mm. But I ended up getting closed out, which is fine. I mean, uh, uh, I agree with your decision just because it was news and you could have, you know, lost 2000 Exactly. Know, just assuming you know, the way you trade. Yeah, it's not worth risking. You can always get back into the trade. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it did pretty good today. I'm going to post the results now on the, on the Telegram. Take okay. a screenshot. Um, I mean, I see potential for this to drop further, honestly. Uh, even though, you know, the, this was just a news reaction. Because uh, it is breaking this, uh, this channel. It definitely broke. Uh, so what I would look, I would look on like a smaller time frame when new one hour candle opens, see if it will hold right here or it will come back up to retest, right? This just, uh, so maybe new hourly candle will do something, retest that and continue back down. Yeah, so I yeah, I do see this coming uh, further down. It's looking good. What's that? You have any positions right now? You have any open positions, or are you just uh, watching right now? Uh, me? Let me check on my phone. I'll tell you what I'm in right now. Okay, so I'm holding Euro NZD sell. I am in USD CAD and USD JPY sell. Nice. That's uh, that's what I have. And then, and actually, oh, I do have CAD JPY sell. I do have that. Yeah, I had a sell uh, sell limit of eighty two thirty. So yeah, I am uh, I am in uh, KJPR sell too. Uh, I think uh, Dave was in a buy. He asked earlier. I even forgot that I had that uh, pending order. That. Go ahead and forget about that. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's it's not clear. Uh, let's see. Well, let's let's finish this. So yeah, uh, Sean, I I honestly see this coming further down. Um, damn, this is even pushing more. I guess it was it was something bad announced for AUD. Um, yeah, it might not even give retest. You know, depending of uh, what their uh, governor governor you know said in the news and that public speech. So. Uh, I, I see it dropping, so right now it's at 75, 353, so yeah, another 40 pips. Um, so I will save this for you uh, in case you're trying to get back in it. Uh, where, where? Yeah, it's looking good. I, I, I predicted it to come down a lot. I didn't expect it to come down this like this quick using the news, but... Well, yeah, I was not, I was not aware of their news. Usually, their news are uh, at like nine p.m. Eastern time, not eleven. Yeah, it's a little late because th their market's about to close soon. Let's see, it's probably K two C. No, yeah, it definitely is, and now it's giving another one. Actually, you, wait, you got on this signal or you got in before? Uh, I got in before, so I got in um, when it was actually signaling for it yeah it gave a signal but um i didn't wait for it i because i just got excited so I, I jumped in right away oh, okay and then um it started retracing so it was retracing up a little bit and i was like fuck I, I thought i was in a bad position but then i analyzed it again and i realized that it's you know the, the long term is it's going to come back down it was just yeah it was getting pushed up a little bit yeah, long term, uh, I, I, like I said, I, I, I see uh, another 40 pips, if not more. If it breaks this, then another 90. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I started using your uh, your strategy with IG sentiment. So I looked at it and I figured, I looked at the, one, the weekly uh -huh. and it looked like it was coming down. So I just jumped in because I was like, it looked good. And thankfully I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I agree. I am uh, bearish on this too. Uh, I don't know if I where did I put it in the chat. Yeah, I did. So you will have it. Okay, so we had request for Euro AUD. It's one of the pairs I like to trade as well. 
So let's see, what do we got? Riding this weekly uptrend for a while. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. I have I have a question. Okay. Uh, uh today after five or six, six or uh six hours, uh, ECB is going to decide uh its uh interest rate, and also there is a ECB meeting. So that's tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, here it is. How how it will affect the market? How it will affect market? This will affect uh, euro uh, pretty heavy. So if you are looking to trade euro pairs, I would suggest uh, you you trade them before or after this, right? uh because uh, unless you you are really a fundamental expert uh i, I would stay away from this right because uh, ecb meaning uh definitely you know uh uh there uh what's his name Draghi is gonna uh be there uh speak about uh their plans and uh what what uh can, can we say can we say that uh, maybe it uh, will speak about brexit also uh, we could, but the thing is, uh, if you open this folder, uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's it's not it's not like a predetermined uh, topic. Besides, besides them, you know, uh, talking about the you know uh, ECB statement, uh, what what they were working on. Uh, what, what they plan to do. And then uh, it says right here that is open to the questions, right? So the members of the meeting can potentially initiate topic of Brexit, right? Uh, what, uh, if, has there been anything uh, planned uh, with, you know, United Kingdom? Uh, did you guys, you know, try to make uh, another, you know, outcome that, you know, suits both sides? Uh, but it's not like predetermined, right? So it could be one of the topics of that meeting, right? Uh, but it, it's gonna be a big impact. Uh, if not this monetary policy statement, the ECB conference for sure. So that, that, that will have a, a big, big impact on Euro. Uh, what uh, I can't tell yet, uh, you know, we could research online, but you know, um, those uh, big important you know meetings and reports uh, usually it's it's hard to find legitimate source to tell you you know because uh, then it would be easy <laughs> to make money off of fundamentals right so uh, is 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 that uh, all you you had uh, JD yes okay all right just wanted to make sure uh, you know uh, we answered the question before we continue. So uh, Euro AUD, we had request. Uh, this is still holding uh, weekly uh, bullish uptrend. Uh, so uh, it's looking good. It came back down to retest. I think this is one, two, three, fourth time, right? So usually after three times, like we said, we could respect, we could expect this to be broken, but it's holding because this weekly uh, candle it's uh, showing some momentum to the upside the only thing is we are below the you know uh this key zone right here so i would not look to buy it just yet yeah i would not look to buy it just yet i would i would like to see some break here and retest and maybe we can you know ride this further up uh, so let's see. We can see something on a four hour. Let's see here. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, soon we will know what they want to do with this pair, right? Because it, it will come to this point of retesting either this downtrend line or, yeah, or it will just maintain this consolidation by riding this weekly uptrend and this uh, intraday support, right? Uh, it could make something like this inverted head and shoulder, right? Because this, if you look at this, let's say, we are we're just going over possibilities, right? What well, what can happen here? Um, so do this, that, then we have this, and maybe something like that, right? Right here. So it could it could uh, you know develop this formation, right? Uh, and you will wait. You will wait for the breakout above this, and you will you will look for the price to maintain its closure above this weekly zone, and then you should be safe buying this pretty high, right? To this, this could be uh, you know almost three hundred pip trade, right? But until you know we we see this formation and break above. And retest. Uh, I don't feel confident buying this, right? Because uh, you know, we we you remember we we don't want to trade what we think will happen. Rather, wait, you know, market to show us what what they actually want to do. Are the big players also interested, you know, buying this again, or they just gonna you know come back here retest and you know uh, uh, turn this market into the bearish, you know, and to this next level, which is you know, 200 pips down. So either way, you know, by you being patient and waiting to, to you know, see what actually uh, is going to happen is what will give you, you know, good trade. But right now, uh, I mean, even let's say if you're trying to make argument for, for this, yeah, it is, you know, rejecting 61.8 Fibonacci, right? But that, that in this case is not enough, right? Because it's above weekly trend line, right? Bullish trend. So selling against that, uh, I, I don't prefer that, right? Uh, doesn't mean that, you know, 61.8 is not yet another time, uh, you know, uh, showing uh, great confirmation. But uh, I, for me to sell, I would like to see this, you know, fall down, break below this, close, below this you know uh, zone right here and then we can take this down so uh this is another thing i wanted to point out uh, as we look at it i would rather you know uh miss on let's see what is this seven five six i would rather miss on 30 pips but be confident to catch 150 rather than get in here and then be in a drawdown uh you know 50 60 pips before I'm even, I'm not even sure whether this will come down or not, right? Because this can just keep rising from here. And I'm entering sell just because it's rejecting 61.8 on the first touch, right? So that that is, you know, what differentiates, you know, a great setup from just, you know, all right setup, right? So we always want to look for, you know, those additional confirmations to give us, you know, uh, more confidence. So I, I, at, at any day, I will rather miss 30 pips, but get, you know, better confirmation to sell this rather than, you know, just going in off of not so strong confirmation that, you know, this will be sell off and then end up, you know, this continue to ride this uh, weekly trend line, you know, to the upside. Uh, so that, that's, you know, what we want to do. Uh, let me just see if there's any K2 signals for this. Let's see, it actually, well, it was sell signal and it was valid. It did drop, but again, you know, weak AUD news, obviously, you know, Euro AUD coming back up. So uh, I, I will just observe it for right now. Uh, I will take a screenshot for you so you can, you know, uh, follow through with it. Uh, let me just, you know, put possible scenarios here. So this can either come right here, right? Break, retest, and then we can, you know, sell it down. 
which would be, you know, still 140 pips, right? Still amazing trade, right? Or this can, you know, just keep riding here, come right here, break, close, and then, you know, continue bullish trend, right? Because this will also be break, not that this will just break, you know, the weekly uh, zone and retest it, but it will also break this, you know, trend line. You know, it's very, very strong confluence for you to, you know, buy if this happens, right? Or otherwise, you know, to sell. So I'll just take a screenshot so you can uh, refer to it. Um, so I think that was a question from Xbox. Uh, I don't know, let's see if you're still here, if that, you know, helped you out a little bit, or if you wanna share if you are in this trade already, or you were just looking at it. So are you in this trade or you were just, you know, trying to get, you know, a second view of it before you trade it? Okay, so are you in a buy or sell? Sell, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, uh, Sean, definitely. Anthony should be giving us some AUD signals. He's 14 hours ahead of me and 17 ahead of you. Right, he's in the future right now. Exactly. <laughs> Yet no signals from him. That's okay. Man. We'll let him let him pass by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Nes, can you check out uh, EJ when you have some free time? I just got a sell signal, and I'm like tempted to to sell, but EJ or GJ? Uh, EJ. DJ, yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, I was just gonna say to Xbox, Xbox Slim, uh, since you you know decided to use that as a username, if you are in sell from 1.63, you are definitely floating a heavy 300 pips profit. So that's amazing. Uh, based on this, you know, uh, it should uh, help you, you know, determine whether you should, you know, still keep holding that sell, or maybe if this breaks back up a lot, above uh maybe you know just just take your profits and look for you know uh, another entry on this right uh, so let's go okay do you love this pair or what right this one's been dropping for so long uh, it looks bearish bearish let's see Okay. You see, I even had it marked from the last time you asked me, and I, I didn't sell. If I sold, I would be 50 pips in profit now. Yeah, it's looking good. So, yeah, it actually is, because it is rejecting 38.2 fibs, which still indicates heavy bearish pressure. So uh, as far as that, it, it looks actually, yeah, yeah, I put it in the right spot. It, it looks pretty good. Um, so, oh wow, this can drop another 70 pips without a doubt. Let's just zoom out a little bit to see this. Wow, looks like those JPYs are covering those wicks, man, from the New Year's opening. Yeah, I mean, uh, and you said there was a sell signal. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to close out because I just want to close outside the uh, the cloud so I'll get better confirmation that's going to swing down. Yes, yes, I definitely agree with that one. Uh, I would wait for that too. And it does look like it will, you know. And maybe you can uh, actually, you know, trail trail this 
uh, you know, for some bigger profits. Yeah, that's my goal. I'm probably going to, well, there's news like at, at 4 a.m., I think, my time. So I'm probably going to trail it and then go to sleep. And well, then yeah, you have now. seven hours. Yeah, you have yeah. seven hours till then. Sometime. This will definitely move till then. It might actually, you know, be this type of move, you know, uh, it's original, you know, bearish, and then the news might swing it back up from here, you know, because those news will make Euro move. There, there's no doubt whatsoever, you know, ECB conferences, you know, it's like a Fed meeting uh, here in US, so definitely uh, it's going to be notable impact in the market. So, um, uh, so if I'm, if, if, okay, so this is a good example. If there was no K2 signal, right, I wouldn't have probably entered this, right? Because uh, I have missed, uh, you know, here rejection and it's already making its move, right? So I don't like to enter when I see an already like 15, 20 pips move. If it comes back up and then we see like a rejection from like 50 or 61 day, or you know, create double top here. You know that that's what I would like to see. Then, yeah, I, I would feel more confident uh, selling this. Uh, but since you know, uh, K two, uh, you know, uh, tool definitely you know provides you with you know high accuracy trades. Uh, you know, it just makes it very very easier. You know, sometimes you can get confirmation with K two signal before you even you know see it in in the form of the market structure. So I definitely, you know, love that, you know, fact about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Sean, uh, like you said, and I agree, you know, we see now it kind of signal went away, starting to push up a little bit. So I would wait for that signal or we can, you know, see if we get some, uh, you know, bigger retrace to one of those Fibonacci levels uh, where we can, you know, feel more confident selling from. Yeah, I agree. I'm I'm gonna wait for it to close out. Uh, we'll close this candle because it looks like it's. If it closes bearish, then it, it'll definitely close outside. And it'll give, you know, complete confirmation. But right now, it's like bouncing around. Yeah, right now on one hour, it looks uh, bullish hammer. If it was to close immediately, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's that signal. Hey, don't sell yet, right? Um, Definitely, yeah, because it, it'll come down eventually. But you know, if it's gonna push up a little more, I might as well let it wait for a little longer. Yeah, I mean, if if it comes back here, makes double top, then you know, you you get extra ten pips for selling, right? Exactly. So why, why not? You know? And that that is you know the thing. Like when when you you know don't wanna uh, just trade for sake of trading, right? You you wanna trade you know quality, not quantity. You know, you don't need to trade ten. 10 trades, 10 pairs every day, you know. You can trade one to two, uh, but, you know, get great amount of, you know, pips. And, you know, it, it just compound that account, right? So. Exactly, yeah, that's the goal. Quality trades all day. Yeah, I mean, you already know that very well, so. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Share this in the chat. All right. Let's see. Do we have requests for uh, any other pair? Let's do uh, Chef JPY. All right. Let's do that. Uh, Xbox, uh, no, I did not say I'm not in your GBP. Uh, I'm not in that. Maybe Sean said it, but I didn't hear. No, no, you're fine. Yeah, I, I'm not. Uh, let me double check my phone because sometimes I do leave pendings, uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm not in. No, I'm in Euro NZD cell, right? I have two positions Euro NZD cell. And that's the only euro pair, yeah. I have USD JPY, USD CAD sell, and CAD JPY sell, yeah. That's uh, my trades right now. 
so you said CHF, JP Vial. Let's see if I have it here. Okay, so we're going to add that. All right, so I'm going to have to look at this. Okay, let's see. So, so, you know, obviously I always start on the weekly. Uh, this market is obviously trending above this whole structure. So you don't, you know, you don't need to bother with this, right? If, if you, you know, thinking about looking this, you don't need to look at this, right? Because the price is way above it, right? So you don't need to be bothered with this. And that, that's how you, you know, cut, cut down your analysis, right? Your, your ideal, progress would be to be able to analyze pair in in like you know no no more than like five minutes at the maximum right so you just you just cut unnecessary you know distraction uh, because it's not relevant to the current market price right so we have this which is weekly support so we're gonna leave that there uh, let's go back to see if we are in a weekly uptrend or okay. actually this was broken. This is broken. So let's take it from here. That broke through. Okay. So that's not valid. Uh, I think this was question from the Dave, right, Dave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you in this or you are looking for to get in it? Um, I thought I was gonna start selling to be honest, but I'm okay. So not, let's uh, since it okay. broke that that initial upward trend started going back down but yeah so it, it did it did broke uh, but the thing is you see it stopped again at the weekly support right mm -hmm. so let's see if we can find some pattern breaks right you remember what i like you know we had the impulse move and look at this it, it just repeats like i i don't make this up right look at this it we had the you know impulse move stop right here created the channel you know this whole thing is you know bearish flag broke look at the drop right then we come to here you know create this consolidation right creates another channel right we go back up I made a false breakout here here and there's a confirmed breakout right so what we have here right on the daily we have another formation right but this is kind of a little bit far you know we had a false breakout again there right may have been some news or something so since we don't see anything clearly on the daily right let's see if we can go further down find something you know that will help us let's see elevate it still nothing right so let's see if we can find any intraday resistance that we could possibly sell this from right and so we can consider this right but that is below current price so there's a next one okay so we can use this and then this would be support right intraday support all right and now we can go back to our candles okay so as far as the pattern right we don't see anything clear here for sell-off it's still riding within this ascending channel right we had false breakout made double top uh came back down now here this is intraday resistance so let's mark that up Mm 
Okay. And this is intraday support. All right. So we did have right here double top, right? So this is this is what I was referring to. Why double top just on its own is not enough, right? So, but here we have double top confluence with intraday resistance, right? And that's you know, here would have been you know really good sell entry. Uh you said you didn't enter trade, right, Dave? No, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, no worse. There uh, better be safe than you know, just go with the emotion of you know thinking that you see something that it's actually not there. But it it, it did kind of gave us some hints right here for selling, right? Uh, and it did fell, you know, nice bit of pips, yeah, 50, 58 pips, right? Would have been nice trade. Let's see if we can, you know, dive further in, you know. So this is, you know, the thing, you know, when I say start on the, you know, higher time frame, you identify your trend, uh, you identify, you know, your, your key structures, your key zones. If you don't see anything, uh, and you cannot tell off of the you know higher time frame where this is going, then you know we, we keep digging you know lower and lower until we can find something, right? So that is right there. We count this week. So we do have you know quite a bit of a you know bigger retrace here, but you know it's it's nothing you know to to really worry about because you know remember 78.6 is our last level of the retrace before you know this uh potential cell ideas uh, are no longer valid right so the cell idea on this is still valid right it, it, it certainly is um but you do want to see you know a break and closure below 61.8 to see if we're gonna start gaining some momentum so let's go on one hour right and can we find anything on one hour that will give us some more hint, right? Uh, let's do this. Okay. Wow, look look at this, Dave. You're going to love this. You're going to love it and you're going to hate it because uh, I'm experiencing same at the moment. Why? If we, if we, if we kept digging in, we, we came on one hour, right? We have this ascending channel, ascending channel break came back retested look at this look look how you know you're building the case for your trades so break retested into the intraday resistance retested the channel and we have double top right and you know it, it's it's just amazing confirmation though you know and i hate when <laughs> they ask me to analyze fear and we find something that we missed but hey it's it's you know it's this 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 repeats over and over and over again so the more we you know do this the the more familiar we come become with it right and and we are that, able to call this right that's uh that's what you would call the uh bearish flag uh no this actually is not bearish flag right why because we came out of the consolidation into the ascending channel right the flag mm -hmm. is when we when you have impulse move and then you have you know ascending channel right but this was you gotcha. know small and then just you know consolidation consolidation so pretty much trading you know from this support to resistance you know you could have done a whole bunch of scalping uh you know if if you you know had those zones identified but you see how it's important to have the zones right right you see it's just trading in between in between in between right until we find something nice like this you know this break, retest, double top into intraday resistance, and you know we continue to sell this. Wow. Uh, no, no problem, Holden. Uh, thanks, thanks for joining us. Uh, this will be recorded, uh, and you know you can definitely go back rewatch it. It will be uploaded. Um, so yeah, thanks again. You know, uh, definitely, you know, appreciate you coming, hanging out with us. So right now I'm trying to see if we can find the case for this where we can enter so uh, Hello? Hello? Okay. Hey, yeah. Hey, Jain food me say bol raha hu Siddhesh. 
Oh, I think he's talking to someone. Chacha. Kaha Rajkot mein ho aap ya bahar ho? Oh yeah, he's on the phone. So let me just. Okay, there we go. All right. So yeah, that would have been really nice, man. Man, see yeah, a lot of like oh, 60, oh. 60 pips almost, or yeah. about yeah. The perfect retest right there. Even if he entered here, yeah, fifty-eight pips. Wow. Uh, yeah. But it's okay, you know, by doing this, you know, we see that our analysis is actually on point, right? This is another, you know, pair that is completely different, you know. One thing, let's say somebody can say, oh, you're just going over GBPs, GBPs. And yeah, obviously, you know, it's kind of expected that they do the same thing. Well, no, this applies to any pair, right? You know, it's just uh, like I don't force anybody to trade GBPs. I, I just, what I did, I shared that I trade them the most. But, you know, by, by us, you know, getting all together, we, we see that this works on, you know, any pair. Because this is just the market, the way it works, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, those confluences, you know, the, those are great. Right now, it's kind of, I don't like the structure. Maybe we could do something like this. Uh, you know, see if this will break, right? See if this will break here and uh, to be safer, like if this breaks right here. Uh, so either closes right here or gives gives retest of the channel, then I would look to sell it, right? So, right. you know, something like this. Let's just, you know, make two scenarios. Something like this or it could keep rising. You know, again, give this retest, and then you know, uh, along with that, break this channel, and then you're gonna have even better entry, right? From here to here, it's gonna be 70 pips, uh, rather than you know, from here to which is still you know, decent move, you know, 47 pips, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, but right now, we don't have confirmation, you know, honestly, I, I, I wouldn't trade it right now. Uh, I just don't see because this, you know, this could potentially turn, you know, in inverted head and shoulders. You know, look, look, look from here. Uh, let's see. This, this type of formation, right? You know, and then, you know, it, it gives this, right? And then it keeps, it keeps going up, right? So rather than just, you know, uh, kind of gambling with it, you know, just wait, see, you know, even if it does this, right, it, it, you know, that, that will help. Okay, so we know it's going to come at least here. And then around here, we can look, you know, for, for that sell-off, right? So this shouldn't, you know, scare you. Because these patterns apply, you know, on all time frames. But right now, you see, you know, it, it, it's, it's, you know, having some bullish momentum. So it is not ready, you know, for sell. Got it. So let's save this so you can refer to it. Okay, I think this will be pretty enough. There we go. All right. I just put it in a you know chat so you can uh, follow it. Maybe we had another question. Okay, we done. Uh, do you guys have a next pair on the mind? We should go over. No. Sean, Sean, you hear us? Nothing. What was that? I said no, nothing. Nothing. Uh, right now. Let's see. I'm gonna look at the uh, the signals that just came out. Um, uh, I'm still looking at the uh, EJ, but it's it's bullish right now, so I'm just gonna wait on that. Um, okay. I don't really. I was looking at the Australian dollar versus the U.S. dollar, but um, it's still it's still manipulated right now because of the news. So it's some. I probably wouldn't get into that right now. 
it's probably going to be traced a little bit. Well, we can take a look. I believe I have AU here. Yep. Yeah, it's AU. Oh, let's see. Look at that. Yeah, but it dropped to the intraday support. You see right yeah, here? They raked off of it. You were looking to what? Uh, sell? Yeah, possibly sell. I, I was going to get in it uh, right there where it closed outside the uh, the cloud, or you don't see on yours, but uh, the, the previous candle before the it dropped, I was going to get into a sell, but um, I got in too late. Because once, once the news hit, it just dropped so fast. There's no way I could get in. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I better not chase it. Yeah, definitely. Lost too much money doing that. Yeah, it was not for it. Yeah, uh, this, I would not sell this at the moment, honestly. Yeah, See? it looks like it, it bounced off the support and it looks like it's going to trace a little bit. Yeah, just wicked off of it. Um, let's see if you can. About three, four hour. And it, it does have. Let's delete that. It does kind of. I think that's a double bottom. Right well, this is kind of riding this, uh, you know trend right here see and it's third touch so i don't expect it to break uh to be honest yeah i don't uh, think so either. It's, it's, not like it's, it. it's really rare case that you know with three touches you have break uh, but let's let's try to look a little bit bigger here see what we can find <laughs> Look how much that pair was punished. <laughs> Sad. Okay, so this broke retested, but it kept going down, so that's not valid. So we can use this. So this is this is still a bearish market. Still bearish market. So this is still a bearish market. Oh wow, this weekly is also pretty bearish. Look at that. Um, I mean, looking at this weekly, it might be breaking it though, because this engulfs previous completely. Yeah, I think if it closes below the support, it'll it'll for sure come down. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, this is pretty heavy candle. Oh yeah, I would not be buying this actually, even though it's at intraday support. Till we see some bull, see it was sell off, sell off, sell off. Um, let's see for. Um, We do have some, you know, sort of confluence here, right? It's, it's, you know, waking off of weekly, uh, not weekly, I'm sorry, intraday support and the upper trend. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't mean it won't break because the weekly candle is pretty bearish. It's kind of scary. Um, so we could potentially, you know, if this is respected, get the retrace here, but, um, I don't know if there's AUD strength to keep carrying this. So maybe, you know, sell from here or further down, depending, you know, momentum that we get. Or if you see the breakout, I would, uh, you know, expect something like that or even retest of this trend line, right? And uh, then I would look to sell it. Uh, with that confirmation, right? Either retest of this, uh, uh, you know, uh, support, which would turn into resistance, or retest of this, you know, uh, trend line, right? So those are, you know, uh, options here. Yeah, I see that. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, thanks for joining in us, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, 
Uh, hope you have a, a you know good day or night at work, uh, depending on what part of the world you are in. And you know, thanks for you know uh, joining. And uh, we'll uh, we'll catch up later. So actually, let's save this. Oh man, I'm so tempted to get into the AU right now. I might just put in a cell. AU. Yeah, that looks good. Giving signal. Yeah, I just got another signal now. It, it didn't close on the last one because the last candle closed uh, just a little bullish. It, it closed green, so you know, obviously, it wouldn't close with the signal. But it, the signal reappeared right now on the next candle. Oh, I see. Yeah, it is below yeah. cloud, though. The trend is not verified yet, you see, because of you know that uh, cross section. But you know, it's starting. You know, it's turning red. Yeah, it looks like it come down. Let me see what else is good. Yeah, because yeah. I, I closed all my positions now, so I'm just looking for the next entry. Okay, cool. Uh, keep keep eye on uh, EJ, you know, definitely. Oh, yeah, either EJ or AU. One of those I'm going to get into. Yeah. Looks like EJ is pushing down a little bit right now, so it's probably going to take some time. It's still in the cloud. It looks like it's in consolidation at the moment. Yeah, this is below cloud. This could be a uh, sell. It could break down. And that is, you know, because on the higher time frame, weekly is heavily bearish, right? So mm -hmm. you know, that, yeah. that pressure, you know, overrides, you know, smaller time frame. Smaller time frame, you know, we can look, obviously, when we don't see any clear. Oh, man, another signal on gold is, is on point, man. Golly, man. Yeah, you've been making a lot of money off gold today, huh? Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, man, but look at this. Look buy, look at this. Look sell, down. Buy, up. Sell, buy. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't even respect the uh, the cloud. It just does what it wants. <laughs> yeah, gold, gold has been, you know, really good with K2. Really yeah. good. Gold's good just, uh, just following momentum. Yeah, I, I don't even think the trend really matters. For the most part, because you know the momentum swings, uh, they'll, they'll swing up for at least a little bit enough to profit a oh, certain amount. We have moment on your AD. See what was what we were talking about. Why would I not sell it yet? Yeah, definitely. Next signal, but you, you don't have a, a signal for each pair, right? Uh, I do. Oh, you do? So yeah. Well, not, not not every pair, but I have it for the ones that I use. Like about 20, 26 pairs, I think. <laughs> yes, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, what What is the last one that came out? Uh, the most recent one is uh, NC, New Zealand dollar versus the Swiss franc. We gave a sell signal, but it, it hasn't. Uh, it, it disappeared for a second. Oh, it's yeah. it looks like it's coming down zone. though. It looks like it should continue to come down. Yeah, it's in the major zone though. Look at this. It's it's heavily bearish, but it's it's at the weekly support. Let's see what we can do here. Very interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Wow, this was actually perfect retrace. Look at that 50 fib rejection on weekly. And also uh, intraday resistance. Oh, yeah, it's, it's literally on the line. Wow, yeah. And now it's, let's clear this so we can dive in a little bit. So the weekly support again. So. Another pair that has, you know, a strong bearish weekly candle.
Yeah, it, it it looks pretty bearish. The only thing is, it's 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 uh, driving into this weekly support. That's the only thing that would prevent me from selling it on. Uh, but uh, let's see on K two. Yeah, it looks like that is was pretty strong. It's pretty bearish. And uh, can you please thank you? I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to advise you. It looks pretty bearish though, but let's see. Yeah, I think we'd probably need more confirmation to get into that one. It's a little risky. It, it is giving signal though. Uh, I mean, I don't doubt K2 signals ever, but you know, it, it, this this is the only... You see, it's it's bullish. So this is this I noticed something is bullish candle, but it's giving bearish signal. You know, it's kind yeah. of losing. Usually, usually I only take it when it when the the candle matches the signal. But, okay. But yeah, but right now in the summer, you know, market's a little too unpredictable. It's all over the place. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, it's below the cloud, uh, but the trend is not aligning uh for sale it's undecided and uh, i mean i i'm not saying it's not gonna drop uh, by any means I, I actually expect it to you know come here which would be wait is it not only my picture can you yeah it's actually five and a half pips right so i i'm not not surprised that this this definitely but that's only five pips right and you know it can you know have this intersection of weekly support and this channel so um i, don't know, I would rather like to see some break here uh, before you know selling it because uh like something we had you know before like you know see breakout retest then try it again retest and you know it fell down yeah i agree we definitely need some more confirmation for that one it's the same with the au right now so i'm still watching the au it's it's like retracing a little bit so i'm just gonna wait i'd rather be safe than sorry yeah i mean definitely you know wait for you know quality entry uh oh you guys been talking a lot That's funny, Dave. Oh, in the chats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like the spirit. I like it. Question for you, Sean, really quick. Um, with the uh, the meter at the bottom, does the whole meter have to be either green or red for it to be within the trend, or is it just that section where it shows that like all four charts are in following the, the trend? Uh, it's just that section for that specific uh, candle. So, um, like for instance, the where it's green over there, all four charts for those for that section of green are above the cloud. I'm assuming. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So, so it it changes sometimes because, um, like for the other candles, because depending on what time frames you choose, uh, it might be like within the cloud on the four hour, but then on every other cloud, it's it's uh, on every other time frame. It's above the cloud, so it, it'll change like like throughout the the day, like depending on where the where the candle is at that time. But um, yeah, if it's green on the chart, how it is right there, that means that it's all candles have closed above the cloud, and then if it's red, obviously the opposite. If it's closed below the cloud. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, when you first released it, I thought I was thinking that the whole bar had to be the right color for it to to like match. You know, oh yeah, some, no, yeah. Like, I had no idea that it was just certain sections, and you could kind of like write it down throughout that section. 
Oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I, I had it like that at first, but then I realized that it would make more sense to have it, you know, in specific areas. So if you wanted to go and back test and see like if the strategy is working during that specific time, you can go back and you can see exactly where it's at. Cause you can see there sometimes like, like there's some false signals that come out through there, but I mean, you'd have to play around with it depending on, uh, on what time frame. Cause I see that, uh, honest has it on the one hour right now. So it, it's a little different if you're running the strategy, but you have the time frames differently. Right. But you can always change it. Like if you go to the settings, you can change it. So if you want to trade on the one hour, you can always change it to like one hour, two hour, four hour daily, opposed to having it on 30 minute, one hour, two hour, four hour. So it just really depends on you, like how, you, how you'd like to trade. But yeah, definitely to your question, uh, it changes depending on, uh, on the exact time, exact candle that you're looking at. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, yeah. cool. I, I'm going to make a video for that. I haven't made a video yet, but I'm going to make some updated videos because I, when I released that indicator, I was supposed to make the video first, but I know a lot of people wanted like to make it a little more efficient, so I just let it, I just release it to you guys ahead of time. Yeah, no, cool. I appreciate it. Either way. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier so you don't have to have, you know, all of your charts open at once. Right, yep. I still like looking at all of them sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, no, same here because it, it helps you because you can see like if it's in consolidation or if it's, you know, if it's testing a, uh, a cloud on another chart. So yeah, exactly. I, I still use, I personally still use it, but, uh, like if you're using it on your phone, it's a lot easier if you just do everything on one chart. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and it's good for like a bird's eye view too. So if you're like, you know, you're doing something, you just want to get in a quick trade, you can just look at it and if it all matches, you can just hop into it. 